Also, like, what the heck? Dude, what's up with these chests, man? What's what's up with these? These chests have been anus. The uh, luck has been anus. We haven't gotten like to a level eight evolved weapon to begin with here. Home improvements out. Hold on, I'm powering up. Perhaps I will buy a small amount of HP recovery. And I'm not paying for luck. You must have lost your mind. What the heck? This is so expensive, man. I guess I'll get a little hollow heart. 20-minute casino? Honestly, talk to someone you love. Because this is too much, man. Okay. Let's, let's play it. I need a win. I'm playing as Pasqualina. You get, you, you're at the Olive Garden betting whether like the breadsticks or the soup's going to come out faster. And you're like, you know it's going to be the breadsticks, but the odds on the soup, I couldn't resist. Cross. Now we're talking. Survivor on Twitch. Thank you. I thought it was a great title as well. I thought it was a fantastic title. Obvious. You know what? You know what? Give me that lightning ring. We know that the lightning ring is good enough to not need an evolution, which is good because it doesn't have one. Now we're talking. Honestly, I think it's just a matter of time. And by a matter of time, I mean like it literally might be like 20 years. It's a matter of time until reality TV is, with the blessing of the networks, live streamed on a site like Twitch. Or probably more accurately, like, you know, cbs.com slash together. It makes the... It makes the experience so much better. To, to have somebody who has no idea what they're talking about just have comments on uh, every event that happens. Big Brother's already doing it. Wait, do the live feeds on Big Brother have, have chat? I can't imagine watching the live feeds of Big Brother. I know there's probably people here that do it, but like... I'm not, I'm not being a hater, necessarily. I'm just saying, like, isn't it like... 99% insanely boring. Isn't it just like eight people sitting around at a table, like eating snacks? People know life, the live feeds for 99 days. For 99 days? I'll take an axe, man. That's the thing, like, so this is the first season of Survivor I'd watched in, like, 20 years, right? Literally, basically. Um, I, I do remember seeing Ethan win on Survivor Africa. But, uh, that was, that was literally in, like, 2003, I think. Um, don't even get me started on Jerry, man, from Survivor 2 Australian Outback. Oh, man. Senses that you can feel if you're, you know in your 30s or older. Jerry! Jerry! Jerry's pioneering the showmance with, with Colby! Anyway, what, what was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. But, like, I really enjoyed watching the episodes of Survivor. The most I disliked the show was when, after an episode... Where usually I was like, that was pretty good. I would then go to like r slash survivor. And every thread would be like, this isn't nearly as good as, you know, blood versus water. Survivor 26 Borneo. Remember when Geronica did that bait on uh, Survivor Millennials versus Gen Z? And I was just like, you would need to... Look, it's a hobby. I promised you, I promised you I would take it. I'm not being a hater. If it's a hobby, it's a hobby. But, like, maybe if your hobby is just, like, 
nostalgia that it could pose like a psychic threat to you and those around you. But I think that a lot of people need to just like watch the show and then like log off and do something else. I think it's a healthy way to interact with something. It's too late for, for the garlic, man. You give me garlic on one of my first like five levels up, I'm all in. Otherwise, I'm all about this right now. Now we're cruising. No, like, it, 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 it's the same with my stream. I'm not saying don't chat, but just chat while it's live. You don't want to become one of those one of those psychos in offline chat. What the heck are you doing? Go live your life. Oh, don't waste away in the IRC. Take Rune Tracer for now. Pre-chat is at least, like, okay. And VOD chat, like, at least you're watching something. But if you just keep the tab open, like, all day, <laughs> I don't know what does it tell you. <laughs> okay, look at this. Look at this. We got a nice serpentine motion. You will never get this. You will never get this. I'm just, you gotta, just always searching for my angle. We're gonna get in there. Don't even sweat it, man. Look at this, okay? All damage up by another 10% compounded on top of itself. <clears throat> Talking in host chat is, it always gets me. I do love, I, I mean, I'm not saying I've never done it, but it's been a while. Nothing like, you're like, wow, you know? Summit's chat's really slow today. Like, I got three consecutive messages in. <laughs> then you're like, oh, that's because I'm talking in, you know, somebody else's chat that hosted him, like, 65 minutes ago. I just had to pick a streamer. I don't watch anybody else. I usually... I, I'll watch, like, five minutes of Dan's stream when I, when I hop off the Peloton. But honestly, like, a, oh, yeah, that's true. I do watch Chibli. It's not a, from a lack of, like, desire to watch. It's from, like, a lack of time. Spellbinder is Bible. I mean, I'm just, I'm going deep on this one. That was, like, a save round right there. I go in Justin's chat. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I hop in chat. But, like, a large part of, like, hopping in chat is, uh... Honestly, just soaking up the dopamine from people seeing that you're there and then being able to type HCJ guys. It's like one of my favorite things to do on Twitch is like hop in in chat and say like, hello, and then like five people go NL and then I type HCJ guys and then I close the tab before anyone can ask me questions, you know, like, hey, is Mon Bazo ever coming back? I'm like, man, this is my... This is my uh, off time. Don't be asking me about Mambazo. Of course Mambazo. What the? Of course Mambazo is coming back. We haven't even gotten the sugar shack going yet. Candle upgrades axe. Thank you. Thank you. One day this will all be second nature copium. But for now I appreciate the hand holding. Tome upgrades magic wand. I sleep. Give me the lightning ring. Sorry, I'm late. Had to watch the new SAP. No apologies necessary. Oh, I was happy to be able to record some, uh, some super auto pets yesterday. And honestly, Clover upgrades cross. Okay. I felt like I, I had been in like a week long, which is not that long, but I'd been in like a week long funk in Super Auto Pets where like things, I've just been getting my ass kicked, quite frankly. But I had a chance to play like a lot um, on vacation because honestly the baby goes to bed at like seven and then you, you know, you can't really like talk or do anything after that. So I played a lot of Super Auto Pets and I feel like I've gotten the handle on it again. I feel like the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated, quite frankly. Yes, don't play Bacta is, is a good piece of advice. The other great piece of advice I would give you is uh, AT&T. Always take Turtle. 
The, the, the turtle might be the most underrated unit in the game right now. And here's what's... You know how, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi said, if you strike me down, I'll become even more powerful than you've ever imagined? That's like the turtle, man, for real. And in this essay, I will explain... I'm, al I'm alive. And well, by the way. Like, I love getting the turtle, and then, like, after two rounds, you don't get another turtle, and you're like, guess what? You just got pilled, and you turn... You, you made my best unit even better. What? Usually, you just gotta, like, sell something at a loss, and you're like, what a ripoff. Don't worry, I got HP regen. I'm chilling. I just gotta not take damage for, like, 200 seconds in order to get back all that HP I lost. Oh, well, 280 seconds now. Okay, also, like, gamers hate him. One simple trick for uh, not dying in one minute. Pick up all this experience down here. And a little turkey never hurt. Unless you're allergic to tryptophan. Hey, is tryptophan a scam? Like, because here's what I'm thinking, right? I don't know if this is actually true. But people, you know, they used to say, like, oh, it's the tryptophan in the turkey that makes you sleepy after, uh, you know, your Thanksgiving meals. It's the, it's the T-bone steaks you eat that make you sleepy. It's the cigars you smoke that are going to make you sleepy. And then the, the conventional wisdom became that on Thanksgiving dinner, you know, the average meal is probably, like, over a thousand calories. So it's actually just your body being, like, it's like a self-defense mechanism. Where your body's like, I have to put you to sleep for a little bit so you'll stop eating. <laughs> and then thus we'll get a chance to survive a little longer. <laughs> but I always thought, even as like a teenager, I was like, if tryptophan is so good at making you sleepy, why don't they sell that shit as like a, a sleep remedy? But you never go to the drugstore and they're like, oh, you have trouble sleeping? Here's like distilled turkey extract. Never happens. So obviously it's a scam. Okay, we, we needed that rune tracer, but we, we do need to upgrade everything else as well. I'm not gonna die. Stop being a hater, okay? It's just gonna take a little work. Dude, I gotta be honest. I was watching uh, Dan play this for like five minutes today. And I was like, man, he's making this game look hard. I'm a legend. And he's making it look, this easy solved game look like it's actually difficult. Now that I'm playing it again myself, I'm like, dude, they issued some kind of like nightmare patch. Okay, time to die. Just kidding. Rune trace me. Trace me. Trace me. A little airborne, yeah, yeah. Do I mean the regen? I feel like is keeping us in this right now. Love, love me some greens here. Trace me, trace me. Come on, we gotta be leveling and like right, right now, right now, not right now. <laughs> okay, okay. What the heck? It's all new, man. Um, Tom is want man this is a slap in the face do we have anything so clover is cross spinach is fire wand does hp synergize with anything tome is just always good okay well you know what say no more i would like to get a turkey here okay a single coin I would like to get a turkey here. A single coin. Whoa! Okay. Ooh! I saw my moment. I If you had one chance, one opportunity, would you take it or let it slip away? I, I said to myself, I might die. I might die if I do this. 
but I will die if I don't do this. Some of the greatest movement you're ever gonna see. It's all about the axe, baby. Diamond hands! Diamond hands! <laughs> Are you seeing those diamond hands? <laughs> oh man, okay. I guess Clover me. Ah! You scammed me. I was, I was, I didn't know where I was anymore. I lost my my anchor point because of the the level up. I didn't know how fast I was. Dude, it, hyper mode's a little harder for sure. No doubt about that. Who's good? I feel like Mortachio's kind of cracked, right? I know you're probably like, go to the library. Dude, library's too easy. This is like, we're, we're playing a hard mode right now. Good job, Mortaccio. Does nothing synergizes with bones, right? Bones are just their standalone. Um, actually, they they harmonize quite nicely with uh, thugs in harmony. So true. <clears throat> I'm. If I see garlic, here here's my promise to you this time. If we get garlic. Before level 10, I will take it. Because I miss it. I miss it. Always searching for my garlic. Dude, we had Korean barbecue last night. I think I ate two entire cloves of garlic. I'm just going to be honest with you. I still... This morning, give me King Bible, smelled a little bit like garlic, but the reason I'm not embarrassed to admit that is because I reject the cultural norm that smelling like garlic is a bad thing. I find it kind of nice. Two heads of garlic? No, I would not eat... I mean, two heads of garlic, that's like... I mean, I, I don't think your heartburn would ever abate. Bible and Spellbinder, okay. Two cloves, like, you know... You know, the clove, the thing that kind of looks... It's like a half moon. You know what would be a good prank? This is a nice, wholesome prank. Uh... Asking somebody if they want a slivered almond, but actually, actually, it's just raw garlic. Oh, man. Oh, spinach is fire want. I'll still take it. And pe people will be like, I'd love a slivered almond, because who says no to a slivered almond? And then... They were like, wait a minute, this kind of smells like garlic. And you're like, yeah, it's a um, honey garlic flavor. And then they bite in and they're like, whoa, this almond's really strong. It's almost a little spicy. And you'd be like, that's because it's garlic, dummy. You had no idea. You had no idea. Oh, man. That could be good. That's, that's a mouth joke waiting to happen right there. Tome's always good. <laughs> You're off the improv team? Have you ever seen people that are not good at improv do improv? Um, actually, this isn't a doctor's office. It's a spaceship. Okay, uh, whoa! Oh no, we're about to crash into Mars! Oh, that's not Mars, that's... Mm, your mother. Um. Okay. I. Uh... Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um. I'm trying to delete it. You know. Let's go fire one because we have spinach already. <laughs> he 
He passed me a note. What did the note say? He said he couldn't show me, but he has a gun. Hey, hey, hey. This is around the part of every run so far where I feel like it's starting to fall off. So let's just not this time. That's a quote from The Office. It's a show notorious for its glamorization of gun violence. I don't want any new things. You know what? I feel like I've previously described movement speed as a trap, but sh movement speed on the other hand. Now you have my attention. The Office is so good. Dude, The Office, like, look, I know it's insanely popular and it's like pretty norm core. So it's easy to, to rag on it for sure. I mean, it's no peep show, but it's pretty good for like a long time before it becomes like a, a bit of a self parody. Yeah, like season two to six are, they're, they're, they're quality bingeable entertainment. It's the kind of thing you could like put on at like 5 p.m. and then like, you know, just do other stuff around the house. And then turn it off when you go to bed and be like, oh, we've almost finished like a whole season today. I feel bad, I never really got into Parks and Rec because uh, by the time it started airing, I was like, I'm, I mean, I was like, this is just the, literally the office. And I'm, I hear it's actually, like, probably better than The Office. I, I love the cast. But I just, I, by the time it came out, I was like, this is literally, like, The Office Season 1 was like a shot-for-shot shot remake of The British Office Season 1. And then Parks and Rec was, the, the one episode I watched in, like, 2008 or whatever was like, I was like, this is The Office. It's like they remade a remake. Big Chris Pratt fan. Love him, man. Favorite movie, 2021? Probably gotta be The Tomorrow War. A lot of interesting ideas in that one. Like, what if they put the middle of the movie at the start, just in case you got bored halfway through, and then you're like, when's the exciting stuff gonna happen? Then you could be like, honey, don't worry. Don't you remember the first 30 seconds where they showed you that clip that's gonna happen, like, 10 minutes from now? Don't worry, it's gonna pop off soon. What about 30 Rock? Also, kind of never really saw it. I think, like, I I watched the last, like, comedy show. I made uh, an appointment to watch. It's, like, I still watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, but it's, like, I don't watch it for, like, a year, and then I'll watch, like, four episodes in a night, and then I won't watch it for, like, a year. But I probably watched, like, the first six seasons of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But like, I, and again, I don't want to be seen as a hater. I'm not anti It's Always Sunny, which I know is still very well liked. But like at some point with a comedy, you really got to like throw a monkey wrench into like every new season. Otherwise, like it becomes too much like the modern Seinfeld Twitter account, right? Where you're like, you know, oh, Dennis starts an NFT grift. Mac puts on and then loses 75 pounds. D is bullied into drug addiction. And, you know, Charlie eats a crayon. Like, it just becomes sort of, like, too too predictable. But I, I, I'm not saying that's what happened to It's Always Sunny. But I will say that, like, you know, before I lived in Korea, I watched a lot of it. Please, please, don't kill me. I need, I need some dopamine, man. Um, and then, uh, while I was in South Korea, one of my friends was like, hey, like, the new season started. You want to watch an episode? And it was, like, the episode with the rum ham. I think I kind of just... I, that was, like, my wake-up point where I was like, come on, man. 
You got Danny DeVito in like a life raft eating a rum ham. Like it's just a little too. It's like a it's like a caricature of itself now. Bad take. It's just my opinion. It's, I'm not trying to say like the show should have been canceled. I saw the bit they did with um, you know Max. Uh, ballet performance. I thought that was pretty cool. But the rum ham for me, I was just like, come on, man, what are you doing to Danny DeVito? Not like as an actor, he should have more legitimacy, but the character of Frank, he should be like more nefarious than this. Not necessarily dignified, but... Anyway. <laughs> That's all I got. This is what happens when you gotta turn your... 100% of your brain power to trying to make it into the ooh, dipping dot stall at the mall. Give me more HP. I actually, I, I'm a believer in this now. When we get into tight movement corridors, this could help us. You need Spellbinder. Okay, I saw a comment. The comment said you need Spellbinder. Which makes Bible better when it's evolved. Hello. <clears throat> you already have one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just level it up then. I knew that. Look at that. Uh, there's 150 extra coins for me. Thank you so much. Okay, we gotta focus, like the bone is critical, but if we could get the fire wand evolved, then we'd maybe start to have some space to breathe. Someone just donated one million bits. <laughs> Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. I know, I know how to use Twitch. You go to this thing, over here, okay? You click on the button. Ferris, what the... Okay, it was 100,000 bits. Thank you, Ferris. You're crushing the leaderboard right now. I know I shamed you for, for donating so many gifted subscriptions. So you found a way to get around that morally speaking. Thank you. Take care of yourself. If you're looking for some, a place for to invest your capital, might I recommend, you know the total stock market, which is down approximately 2% today. This is not financial advice, unless, but thank you, thank you. I also feel like you kinda did something a little sneaky and I'm not being a hater for obvious reasons, but you did it in a game where I can't look at the chat and you thought you were going to get away with it or maybe you thought you weren't going to get away with it but that it might appear that you got away with it. But either way, I appreciate it, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you. What if we invested in VTI together at the same time and held hands? So true. So true. Honestly, a romantic story. There's a chest up there. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be one piece of garbage anyway. I guess I'll get it. If it'll make you happy. Um... <laughs> Hold on, there's a turkey in there! I, I, I gotta get around to get to that turkey. Okay. Just keep moving up for a second here. Ask me! Turkey, turkey too, turkey too. That's why you take wings. That's why you take wings. Forza eliminator strategy. Find the corridor. He's found the corridor. Okay, we took a little bit of psychic damage there. That's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So this just never ends, huh? That's like the thing with the skeletons. Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
They they patched the game, man. They made it harder. Who's who's cracked? Start me with the fire wand, okay? Give me early garlic or you're a hater. Baby's gonna love that new word. She's at daycare right now, you sicko. Give me an Elden Ring. She's probably hearing it at daycare. I don't think so. I just, I just would, don't want to get too into it, but our... Uh, our daycare provider seems quite pious. Which, oh, let's go! Which honestly is not something you necessarily dislike from a daycare provider, but we definitely do not have an, an edgy uh, daycare. It's not like the Attitude Era, like... We finally got it. Finally got some garlic. Is there any way we can see a return of Dead Cells now that Dan's playing it? Yeah, you could watch twitch.tv slash Dan Giesling. He's doing Pace Picante. You know what? Give me the crown. Let's see. We got to get past that 10 minute mark. He's doing Pace Picante in uh, Dead Cells, which I think means that uh, he'll probably be playing it for at least a few months. Maybe? I don't know how long it takes to get to... I don't think it's quite as gargantuan as Isaac, for sure, in that regard. I'm gonna take the whip. Dead Cells is actually difficult, though. Excuse me, like... Honestly, don't, don't don't take this as too offensive. That's an uh, an afterbirth plus brain take. Repentance is hard. So getting a hundred percent like that re that requires a lot of skill, a lot of a lot of practice, and a good deal of luck. I'm not saying dead cells is not hard, but I am saying that one of the reasons I stopped playing it, you know, before 1.0 hit was because you know, with the right uh, tools, you could pretty much win every single run that you had. It's still in a, like a very impressive game, don't get me wrong. People think I'm like a Dead Cells hater. I'm not a Dead Cells hater. I just don't like it as much as, as probably the average person. But I, I still, like, it has the, the best, like, movement and attack mechanics of any roguelike. Like, it, it, it's actually, like, you know, lovingly animated <laughs> it's, it's just like i don't know it it doesn't offer what i want from a roguelike i don't even know what that is and i still played like 70 hours of it or something like it's still a great game i'm going look here's my my thesis right now okay we have struggled to make it past 10 minutes so we need to get stronger now some people might think that you get stronger by getting more weapons or you know stronger damage instead i'm going to invest in xp and then when 10 minutes rolls around and i don't have enough damage i'm going to be like oh right i shouldn't have taken all that xp thinking it would pay dividends when it didn't but at least we'll know what to blame we have five weapons already holy cow what is tome upgrade again Wand. Magic wand. I'm still taking it. I think it's just good. That's my dream, at least. Just a little dopamine? The slightest dopamine? If I get to 10 minutes. Oh, I, I think you'll find that my experience gambit will be quite operational by the time your 10,000 skeleton friends arrive. Look, I'm sure level 2 garlic is probably pretty decent as well, but like, I think getting an evolved fire wand as soon as possible also serves a, a great purpose. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Whip is with Hollow Heart. Let's just, let's go Tome for now. Makes everything a little better. Never take Garlic. Dude, I just, honestly, I just feel so much safer with Garlic around. Also, like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? A little, uh, oh, we need Clover for Cross, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a, a little garlic uh, gambit combined with the crown gambit, all of a sudden, every time a bat swarm shows up, we're getting so much XP. What can I say? Go ahead, hit me. See if I care. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. Like I said, I'm pretty much anecdoteless, man. It is funny. I don't know if I'm... I feel like, you know, most birthdays, Kate wants to go to Whistler. Her birthday is in the winter time. She likes to snowboard. It's a perfect fit. So I feel like over the years, I've probably made this joke already. But I do feel like a ski resort has got to be like the number one place in the world for number of adolescents drinking coffee per capita. Like, you could not turn your head without seeing like a nine-year-old with a, a grande pike place from Starbucks. Like, it's crazy, man. Bad take? What do you mean bad, bad take is like, you know, I made a judgment on somebody that, you know, is punching down. This is literally just an observation. It's not a bad take. I was there. Boomer take? I'm not I'm not saying they shouldn't drink coffee. I'm just saying I'm not used to seeing so many nine-year-olds, you know, dosing caffeine. It's a very European vibe. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. One again. Kids shouldn't be on cough. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Man. I'm trying to, I don't even know. And maybe this is like dating myself. I don't know if I knew anyone in high school who drank coffee. I feel like, and then even in university, I'm, I'm being 100% real with you. I lived in a house with seven people. I don't think, and myself included, I don't think any of us regularly drank coffee. We might as well go magic wand. We got the tome. Like every once in a while, they might like, you know, go to Tim Hortons or something, get an ice cap or whatever. But we did not have like a coffee maker in our, in our house. I didn't drink coffee, and this is legitimate, I didn't drink coffee until I started teaching ESL in South Korea, because like, honestly, I just felt like I needed a little excitement in my life, because, you know, especially during the intensives, when they're off from real school, so they go to like, Hagwon 22 hours a day, I was just like, I need something to get me through the day, man. Teaching kids like 12 to 10, I'm not gonna get drunk on the job like some kind of sociopath, but at least like a little caffeine gives me the illusion of like, this is for me. Owns, owns, owns. How did you survive without it? I mean, it, that's the thing, right? Coffee is like, it's, it's kind of a poison pill in a way. Like you don't know that you need it until you start drinking it. If you don't ever drink coffee, you would be like, I don't know what I'm missing. And honestly, like it's that you know, like the first you know few cups of coffee might get you a little zooted, might get you a little bit more alert. But then after that, you're just constantly chasing that baseline of how you felt before you started drinking coffee in the first place. So true, so true. Dude, that's honestly why I'd like, I mean, I've, I apply this to a lot of my life. There's one reason I never tried any hard drugs. 
is because the question is not like, you know, oh, what if they're bad? I know they're bad. You ever watch the news? The, the real problem is what if they're good? Then you're going to be like, oh, you're going to be like that guy on Reddit who was like, I'm going to take heroin ironically, but not get addicted. And then, you know, six months later, he's like, oops, I got addicted, by the way. You don't want to do that. And it's the same reason, like, I don't, like, buy myself nice things, really, is because I'm like, you know, if I could just be happy with the shittier things, then... Because once you get something nice, your happiness, like, anchors itself back to your baseline so quickly, right? Like, in, in like, a month, you're like, ah, these pants don't even feel nice to me. They just feel like pants. Which is the same way you felt with the H&Ms, but now you're rocking the Lululemons. But now if you went back to the H&Ms, you would be like, it's like wearing sandpaper. I'm telling you, I never should have started ordering appetizers, man. Because now I'm like... if I, I'm still happy with an entree, don't get me wrong. But there are some times where I'm like, oh man, I really wish that I had gotten an appetizer with this. But then I'm like, I don't want to pay 11 bucks for, you know, calamari. Are you crazy? But then I'm like, oh, it would really hit the spot right now, man. It would really hit the spot. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, it's almost 10 minutes. Has, has the gambit worked out? I feel like we're at the same level we're normally at. <laughs> Uh oh, we're not we're not there yet. We're not there yet. You want to shoot the cross backwards? Thank you. Shoot the cross backwards. Thank you, because we want to hit those those winged demons behind us. I'm a little scared of the skeletons. Maybe I should be scared of more than the skeletons. I'm out. me. Turkey me? Okay, we're back. Get some chests. This will be a great time to get some chests. There's some champions up there. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what I should have called for, man. <laughs> what the hell? Level 2 garlic. Okay, run south immediately. See you. Turkey? Oh, the heck, there's still flowers. Flowey, Monka S. I'm staying in there. I, I want it! <laughs> Give me a triple, man! There's an orb on the right and a turkey on the right. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here come the skeletons. Ready or not, here come the bones from the south. Okay, okay. Huge! Dude, honestly, this level 2 garlic might be enough right now. And I'm, I'm as surprised as anybody else, but I'm kind of melting them. You just gotta be very careful. You gotta maintain your protective bubble. Bonnie Henry safe six. Give me those levels. Stay in there. Stay in there. I, I know I want the hollow heart. We might as well get it. Because it's it's gonna have whip synergies. Whoa, whoa! Are you seeing the, the, the brownie in motion? We cleared a path. That deserves a triple, man! Clover. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Shmoove me? Oh, man. No, forget that. Better cross. We're still not close to evolved anything, which I have to feel is going to be like pretty bad for us moving forwards but we look did the crown gambit work or did it work i guess maybe it's too early to say these werewolves are, are quite strong but 
It's it's certainly the most comfortable run we've had up to this point. So you're saying there's a chance. And then, oh, baby. Oh, man. Oh, you know, there's not a lot in games that hits on the same level of, like, sucking up all these. Holy cow. It's just pure dopamine. Yeah, so the gold you get is for passive upgrades that you buy outside of battle, but they affect all characters inside of battle. Almost like a rogue legacy permanent progress sort of uh, sort of model. We need spinach for fire wands, okay? Oh, man. We're a little pogs. Trying to hang whenever I get the chance, but certainly these, I mean, the difficulty do be spiking. It's not possible. No, no human mind can possibly schmoove like that. And yet here we are. The stutter step? Okay. Little little room to breathe. You think that's air you're breathing? He's free. He's free. Whew. Okay. Little lantern never now we gotta start engaging in the loop, okay? I'll just be dead instead. Is there like, is there supposed to be a way that you can like survive this game? <clears throat> Are you supposed to be able to, to, to live in this game? 